Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time again with Amazing Mods for Daisy, Episode 2. And yes, some of you may be aware of some of the mods I'm about to show, but some of them, I think a lot of you will be very surprised. As always, these mods are in no particular order, and we're kicking things off with a trader mod by Dr. Jones, who has also kindly provided me with a list of features currently in the mod and what's being worked on next. Like being able to buy and sell items, of course, item categories, multiple traders around the map, you can sell items highlighted with a green selling price. You cannot buy items with a red price. You can buy item attachments. Currently, only ammo and magazines work properly. These traders will be located in safe zones, and you can trade to and from backpacks. For server owners only, you can go inside the traderconfig.txt and set trader currency, modify create your own traders, which is reusable, modify create your own categories, and modify and add your own item entries. You can also modify the traderobjects.txt and set trader positions, set radius for each safe zone, modify and add objects to spawn in the world to create your own trader cities. And on the feature to-do list, we have vehicles trading, when vehicles come to experimental, item preview or icons in trader menu, auto currency item merging in inventory, calculate right angle to talk with the trader, detect clients that have not loaded the mod and kick them from the server after displaying a message. Improve performance at loading trader values from server, vehicle speed limitations in safe zones, add trading animations, and map icons for trader cities. Ooh, that's a lot of features for the trader mod by Dr. Jones, who, by the way, is also part of the Stalker Live Zone team we featured in our previous episode. As for the trader mod itself, it will be great for many servers. Personally, I wouldn't mind having a trader mod on there myself with a safe zone, primarily PvP, of course, on my servers. But the trader mod will also be great for RP or the total conversion like the Stalker Live Zone. Again, I will leave links in the description below to Dr. Jones and the Stalker Live Zone Total Conversion, as well as to Episode 1 of Amazing Mods for Daisy in the description below. Next up, we're taking a look at what the team over at Terminus RP have been working on. And this stuff really got me excited for the future of Daisy, the potential for variety on servers. The team have been busy so far creating a load of original textures and colors for most of the backpacks in game currently, as well as for drinks and a weapon case. Some of these drinks are very entertaining as they're a twist on real life drinks. Also, another nice little detail on the back of the cans of drink, there is a QR code they've placed, which when scanned with your mobile phone, takes you to the Terminus RP website, which I thought was a really neat addition and will offer great potential in the future. Of course, on screen now, you're taking a look at footage they allowed me to record on their test server, and I was blown away by the work they're doing and there's much more work to be done. Oh, and they've also created two new wolf textures, which I thought were very impressive. One is a black wolf with blue eyes, and the other is a zombie wolf with blood around its mouth. They did spawn a load of these in at one point as well, and I was unarmed, so it was very interesting. But that is by no means everything the Terminus RP team are working on. Oh no. When asked what firearms I'd like to see in DayZ, if any, I'm a big pistol guy, as a lot of you may know, and I said maybe a Beretta. So what does he do? He spawns in a Beretta and lets me fire it around. Oh my god, this was amazing. So again, I just want to quickly say, those that are worried about the status report and that content is going to be postponed till after 1.0, we got these modders, man. We got these modders. And then, Terminus RP decided to show me an AS Val they've been working on. Mind blown. Of course, there's much more they've been working on behind closed doors, and primarily this will be for their own RP server, Terminus RP. Look it up on the server browser, of course. And don't forget to check out their Discord, which will be linked in the description below, where they will be teasing future mods from the team, and you can check out their server and become part of their unique RP experience. With that said, later on down the line, they do have plans to release these mods to the public. As a quick little update, and as I was recording this, they're also working on an SKSM. And sticking with the subject of weapons, modder Voltiman contacted me a while ago on the M14 he's been working on. You may have also seen it in this week's Community Spotlight for DayZ. I've always been a big advocate for variety when it comes to weapons. The more weapons, the better for me. And if I got my way and the servers would handle it, I would probably have a buttload of different weapons on our servers. As for the M14, it was one of my favorite weapons back in Arma 2 DayZ mod days, that and the DMR. So I am looking forward to getting this in my hands to test in a live server experience.
And as an added extra from Volterman, he's also been working on a T-33 Tokarev, which has its own ammunition, 7.62x25mm. When he has finished his work on the Tokarev, I will get some footage for you guys right here. And finally today, we have another very interesting mod by modder Comatose Badger. Completely new, modular base pieces. Vanilla base building parts not doing the trick for you? Well, Comatose Badger's got your back. How about some working windows that you can open and close to take sneaky pot shots at those pesky raiders trying to get close to your base? We have a new variation on the large openable gate for vehicle access to your base or compound, as well as smaller, civilian-sized doors. This is just the tip of the iceberg that the work Comatose Badger has been working on for Daisy standalone regarding base building. He's also working on safes as well as many other base building components. Links to Comatose Badger's imager page will be in the description below for all the behind the scenes screenshots of work in progress and all the other mods today. Check them out in the description below, you won't regret it. Let me know your thoughts on the mods showcased in this week's Amazing Mods for Daisy episode 2. Don't forget to let me know if you've got a mod you would like showcasing. Send an email to septicfalcon at gmail.com and I will get back to you ASAP and start working on episode 3. Smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you peeps next time.